But our decision has actually presented a bit of a dilemma because traditionally presidents don't stick around after they're done. And it's something that I've been brooding about a little bit. Uh, take a look. News. Michelle Obama in hot water after posting this video earlier today. Obamacare is great and it's really working. Sign up now. We're going through common struggles. I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that everybody here, and I look at this audience and it's representative of the country, everybody here is connected in some fashion. Uh, and our success and our children's success uh, is tied up uh, together. And so uh, I think most Americans feel that way. Mm -hmm. But what is still true is, is that you know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain, right? Uh, 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 that, that part of our brain that if somebody looks different or sounds different that there's a part of us that is cautious and what we have to do is fight against that and there and there in the back of both their heads now you ready yeah do that watch this ready you see it now ready now you've seen it now there you go it's i see it even better without the there it is look Ready? It looks more sinister that one. It does. Look at that. What in the world? Look at that. Aliens are real. They are serious and they are many. They exist. Anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. Now. We will not apologize for our way of life and do our business in the light of day because that is who we are, that is what we've done, and that is what we will do. The fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. We have some members of Congress here. Huh? Well, there you go, Dennis. Where, where? 
hey, how are you? I want to thank. Christian th God is the one and only true living God, the creator of heaven and the universe. His jacket. Is that his jacket? The uh, first of all, I, 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 I agree. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Uh, the I believe in that. Now, let's take a look at those pictures from Obama's presidential address earlier this week. And tell me what you see. Uh, this was not photoshopped, by the way. These images have appeared on Fox News, Slate, Business Insider, and the National Review, and they are now going viral. And it is a chilling photo of what appears to be devil horns on Obama's head during his last presidential address. He's got horns coming out of the side and on top of his head. It almost looks deliberate. Lunch ...and explained that he had met with Republicans last week but had done no negotiating, saying he wanted to air out some of the negativity with the GOP before Democrats unveiled their first budget in four years. That <laughs>
men and women of the finest military in the world. Most of all, Admiral Mullen, Deborah, Michael and I, Michael and I, Michael and I. Is that anything scary? You know, uh, well, when my, my, uh, my when uh, Michelle's mad, when my, my, uh, my when uh, Michelle's mad, when my, my, uh, when my, my, uh, my, when uh, Michelle's mad. Did Jesus really reveal the name of the Antichrist? I will report the facts. You can decide. In Luke chapter 10, verse 18, Jesus said these words. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from the heavens. These words are written in Greek and translated to English. However, Jesus spoke these words originally in Aramaic, which is the most ancient form of Hebrew. As you know, the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. If a modern Jewish rabbi were to speak these words of Jesus today, he would speak them in Hebrew, much the same way that Jesus would have spoken them. So in Hebrew, Jesus said that he saw Satan falling as lightning from the heights or from the heavens. So what are the words for lightning and heights or heavens in Hebrew? From the Strong's Hebrew Dictionary, word number 1299, a primitive root word meaning to lighten or lightning or to cast forth, the word is barak. In the Strong's Hebrew Dictionary, word number 1300, lightning or by analogy a gleam, a flashing sword, or a brightness or a glittering, the Hebrew word is barak. So lightning or a flash of light in Hebrew is pronounced barak or barak. Now consider this amazing fact. The book of Isaiah is the source of origin for the Christian concept and understanding of Satan, or Lucifer, as Isaiah calls him, in chapter 14, especially in verses 12 through 19. In Isaiah chapter 14, verse 14, Lucifer, or Satan, is credited with these words, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. In the verses of Isaiah that refer directly to Lucifer, several times it is mentioned that Satan has fallen from the heights or from the heavens. The Hebrew word used in this text for the heights from which Satan fell is Strong's Hebrew word 1116, pronounced Bama. Bama is most commonly used to refer to a high sacred place, as well as to the heights of the heavens or the clouds. In Hebrew, the letter Wa is often transliterated as a U. Some scholars use the O for this transliteration. It is primarily used as a conjunction to join concepts together. So to join in Hebrew poetry the concept of lightning or barak and a high place like heaven or the heights of heaven, the letter U or sometimes O, the Hebrew letter Wa would be used. So barak O Bama or Barak U Bama in Hebrew poetry, similar to the style written in Isaiah, would translate literally as lightning and the heights or the heavens, or lightning from the heights of the skies or the heavens. The word Satan is Satan in Hebrew, a direct translation. So back to Jesus' prophecy in Luke chapter 10, verse 18. If spoken by a Jewish rabbi today, influenced by the poetry of Isaiah, he would say these words in Hebrew, the words of Jesus in Luke chapter 10, verse 18 as, and I saw Satan as Barak Obama. Did Jesus reveal to us the name of the Antichrist? I report, you decide. Richard Cordray to continue leading the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Uh, this guy's bothering me here. To give Americans the information they need to make sound financial choices and protect them from unscrupulous lenders and debt collectors. High quality insurance through the high tech company that Nathan helped to found. But when that insurer saw Thomas's claims, 
it began jacking up premiums for all of Nathan's employees and their families. No other insurer would take Nathan as long as Thomas was on the policy. Get out of here. You've seen me grab one of those before. <laughs> So uh, as uh, Nathan's family neared their lifetime limit, a social worker actually suggested that Nathan and his wife get divorced so that she could go on Medicaid. She lost her job during treatment. The coverage she had through her husband's employer uh, has a lifetime limit of $1 million. And so like Nathan, they worry a him. year ago and a year and a half ago that the subprime lending crisis could spill over. And that, let me try that again. Um, <laughs> from getting into this crisis in the first place. I warned, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay, there's a lot of flies in here and the center is gonna do something about gonna, these flies. We're gonna, we're gonna do it one more time. <laughs> but there's no doubt that we're underinvesting in education. Now, mostly that's a state issue. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Okay. Uh, talking about education. The signature characteristic of uh, our, <laughs> sorry. sorry, I'm gonna start over. Uh, I'm going to start at I will contrast. Hey, get out of here. That's the most persistent fly I've ever seen. Nice. <laughs> now, where were we? That was yeah. pretty impressive, wasn't it? I got it. I got the sucker. What do you think, Gibbs? That is very good. It's on. It's right there. It's right there. You want to film that? There it is. Uh, it's been a major supernatural transformation because Proverbs 11.21 says, the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. God didn't say might be, could be, should be, or maybe. He said the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. And I think we need to speak it with that kind of forcefulness. With some of the things that you have seen that are going to happen in the future, with what's going on in our education system, uh, children from elementary school on are being brainwashed the opposite of God's word. We need something stronger. And that something stronger was given to us, the words of the living God. But with some of the things that Mike has seen that's coming on this world, uh, you began seeing things uh, about President Obama before he was president. Yes, what did I God did. show I, you? I knew he would be elected. Uh, because God showed me uh, when he was just running for office that he would be exalted to a position of authority. But then when I saw him placed in that position of authority, I saw the words written and heard them spoken, nuclear proliferation, which ironically is the opposite of the platform he ran on, which is reduction of nuclear weapons. But what God was showing me is that during his presidency, there would be a rapid development of nuclear capability and, and in you different know what? nations. He shared that with me when I interviewed him previously before this happened. And what he's just saying is happening so rapidly that the world isn't even aware of it. It seems like every day you hear another country that has nuclear bombs. Just the opposite of what the president is standing for is occurring. I mean, why is it that? Why is that happening? Well, it's because the enemy's plan is to make our enemies stronger than us. Because we're not only the natural breadbasket of the world, the United States is the spiritual breadbasket of the world. And that's why there's a, an, a, a concerted attack on our nation in many different arenas, economically, politically, religiously, in order to stop the progress of the gospel. But God showed me many years ago, about 30 years ago, God showed me another third great awakening that is coming to our nation and ultimately to our world. And so God has a plan that will outwit you. Know, you know, I, I happen to believe it started already. It's little bits and pieces, but he, he also saw, you saw some destruction in New York City. So, uh, very heartbreaking. In fact, uh, earlier in the uh, year 2012, I had a dream where I saw New York City lifted up above the ground and it became translucent. Uh, uh, you could see right through it. And then it rushed uh, across uh, the United States of America and across the Pacific and hovered over Japan. And then it merged with that area in eastern, northeastern Japan, where that terrible tragedy took place uh, about a year prior to that, uh, where there was an earthquake and a tsunami and a nuclear incident. 
And I saw New York City destroyed with the same level of destruction. And uh, uh, that makes me very concerned that there will be a nuclear incident in New York City. But um, if that happens in the near future, I believe it will only serve to bring America to repentance. Uh, I don't know what God's plans are. I know we can pray, we can intercede, but I do know God has a plan that will prevail. But you saw a major move of God's spirit. Yes, I did. Especially on young people. And when you begin to pray God's word over your children and grandchildren, quickly, I want you to pray for the children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren of those that are watching right now. Well, Father, in the name of Jesus, you said that in the last days you would pour out your spirit on all flesh and our sons and daughters would prophesy and our young men would see visions. And I claim that fulfillment, that promise coming to pass in Jesus' name. May every child represented by every person watching this telecast, let every one of them come under this canopy of the anointing of God. You're the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy with those that love you to a thousand generations. Let covenant come upon them in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And I just feel like there are hundreds of you that are going to see your offspring that are bound to drugs, bound to heroin, out in a life of darkness. You're going to see them delivered. Proverbs eleven twenty one: the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. We prophesy over you in Jesus' name. Amen. And, and, and I agree. You take it? Do you take that? I take that. Praise God. Well, God is showing me people are actually being physically healed right now. Uh, there's someone that uh, you have a, a pain, arthritis in your fingers. It's gone in Jesus' name. There are other people, deafness, spirit of deafness is, is leaving. It's, Mike, is God showing you anything? Yes, he just showed me a woman who's been estranged from her daughter for a lengthy, lengthy decades. And, and there's been a rift in the relationship, and that will be restored. That will be restored. That relationship will be restored. I feel that. But the most important thing is you get right with God. You stop that backslidden stupidity. You come back to God. Make right. Jesus your Lord. Read your Bible right. and accomplish your destiny on yes. this planet. This is your moment, and you have not gone too far away. Come home. But I will point out that I was called naive when I suggested that we need to look at exploring contacts with Iran. And you know what? President Bush recently sent a senior ambassador, Bill Burns, to participate in talks with the Europeans around the issue of nuclear weapons. Again, it may not work, but if it doesn't work, then we have strengthened our ability to form alliances to impose the tough sanctions that Senator McCain just mentioned. Yes, we can. 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 Thank you, say. 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 Let me express, let me express, Serf Skandal, Serf Skandal.